Today will be a continuation of testing these two solar panels and uh, just shows you that if you want to prove anything you must be able to replicate an experiment. This morning the folding panel temperature is 66 degrees and the polycrystalline panel is sitting at 59. So quite a bit hotter on the polycrystal than yesterday. It's 9 in the morning and the sun is at 40 degrees above the horizon. I'll be testing these panels aligned with the sun as well as lying flat. Now just to add some variety to these tests, this will be my load for today. It's a brushless motor with an APC propeller. It's an 8 by 4 inch propeller that was chopped down in diameter and I'll vary the load with the servo tester. First up is the folding panel. It's the new panel. You can see the open circuit voltage is down from 7.8 down to 7.3 due to the heat. This time I actually remembered to calibrate the ammeter. So let's give it a go. Six point two watt, nine point eight, twelve point four, thirteen point five, fourteen, fourteen point one, thirteen point six. So we just made it beyond maximum power point. The motor is now at full throttle, so to increase the load slightly beyond maximum power point, I'm going to add some friction with my fingers. Twelve watts, eleven, this is the polycrystalline panel, six point six, eight point nine, ten point seven. 12 .5, 13.9 14.8 14.12 11.3 Definitely a bit more powerful than the folding panel this morning. This is a repeat of the previous tests with the panels lying horizontally. So it should take into account any reflectivity on the surface. I've also switched back to the hot wire cutter as a load at this stage. Uh, as suppose I could be giving away the game about my intentions for testing these panels. The one sheet canoe that I built moves along very well in the low power and I've calculated that it could perhaps move along just fine with two of those folding solar panel units. So testing it in a horizontal position will give me a very realistic power output if I have to mount them as such on the boat. And this is where I forgot to turn around the microphone, so unfortunately you won't be able to make out anything I say. So just to sum it up, the monocrystalline folding panel peaked at 12.5 Watt, the polycrystalline panel at just over 14 Watt. I will discuss the full set of data points a little bit later. I took a few extra temperature measurements and the polycrystalline panel measured 49 degrees in the front, 54 at the back. So to cool it down, cooling down the rear would be the easiest part to do it. So here I raised it up so that the air can circulate more freely uh, past the rear of the panel. And I'll be performing a test with natural circulation as well as forced circulation. Eight point two, 
11, 1, 13, 14.6, 15 15.1, 14.6, 13.5. Here I have the motor set up such that it cools the rear of the panel. 8.8, .8, 13.5. Fifteen point five, sixteen, sixteen point one, fifteen point nine, fourteen point seven. I'm going to take the temperatures again. Thirty eight in the front. 42 at the back. This is a summary of today's test results. Polycrystalline panel in blue, monocrystalline panel in red. And you can clearly see the difference between the results of the panels aligned to the sun and those lying flat. It's also quite noticeable that the largest change in performance takes place on the amount of current being produced. Voltage is more or less constant regardless of the amount of sunshine. The monocrystalline panel provided maximum power points at 14.1 and 12.6 watts respectively. The polycrystalline panel produced 14.8 watts and 13.2. The two additional points are for the polycrystalline panel when I raised it up to get better cooling. It produced 15.1 watts with natural cooling and 16.1 with forced cooling. This graph shows the comparison between today's test at 9 a.m. with the monocrystalline panel facing the sun and yesterday's panel at noon also facing the sun. But there's quite a difference in performance even though the cell temperatures were very similar. And then just the same comparison for the polycrystalline panel.